Alabama running back Bo Scarborough was a game-time decision for the Crimson Tide's uh, matchup at noon on ESPN against Mississippi State. I think Nick Saban probably said, you know what, Bo, I think we got this. Just take the week off. Alabama all over the Bulldogs, 51-3. to Story of this game was Jalen Hurts and the Alabama passing attack. It's been lackluster in recent weeks, very limited. Hurts hit for 347 through the air, 100 on the ground. He tied an Alabama touchdown record for five in a single game accounted for. Alabama working on the downfield passing game. If you look at the three studs in the passing attack, Calvin Ridley, Ardarius Stewart, and O.J. Howard at tight end against LSU. They only got the football six times for a measly 75 yards combined. Today, our Darius Stewart, the huge day uh, in Tuscaloosa, eight receptions for a buck 56 and three touchdowns. One was a 67 yarder, actually a run counted as a pass. It was the flip forward on the jet sweep for 67 in the score. OJ Howard, six for 77 through the air. Calvin Ridley, four catches, 26 yards and a touchdown. Again, those three accounted for 18 receptions and four touchdowns a week after being limited by the LSU Tigers. Nick Fitzgerald and the Mississippi State passing and rushing attack has been on full throttle. Fitzgerald came into this game with 11 touchdowns accounted for in the last two weeks and almost a 1,000 yards total offense against Samford and in the big upset win over Texas A&M, 35-28. Against Alabama, different story as we see over and over and over players who have some semblance of success against uh, decent defenses like a Texas A&M can do nothing against Alabama. Best defense in the country. Fitzgerald, 10 for 33 for buck 45, 11 carries for a measly 15 yards. Alabama outgained Mississippi State 615 to 274. Eris Williams actually hit up the tide for 56 yards and 11 carries, but the game was out of hand early and he couldn't be utilized. We saw Williams a breakout against Texas A&M for his best effort of his young career with 140 yards. Mississippi State at four and six, of course, has to win its last two games to get to postseason play, and that won't be easy. They've got Arkansas at home. They travel to Oxford to take on Ole Miss in the Egg Bowl, and they will need Weston Graves possibly to hit on a field goal or two to get the two wins that they need. He's now 10 of 17 after going just one for two, and Dan Mullen commented this week that maybe he should hire a hypnotist to work on Weston Graves' psyche. For Alabama, the record much more tidy at 10-0. They've got Chattanooga for the scrimmage next week before the date against Auburn in the Iron Bowl. Of course, the Tigers tripped up by Georgia today. Alabama 51-3. Is Bama the best in the country? We need to hear from you now on Mark Rogers TV.